Hello YouTube, this is Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions and I'm going to be showing you how to fade in and fade out audio in GarageBand. I made a similar video before back in 2018 I believe but there are some new updates since then and I'm going to show you how to do it in the new version of GarageBand. So I'm going to go ahead and create an empty project. Uh, I'm going to choose audio for this so it will say record using a microphone or line input, you know, blah blah blah, um, click create. And for this one, I'm going to import my audio file. It's simply a royalty-free soundtrack that I found on YouTube. I will also link that in the description below so you can listen to it. But I can also play it in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it sounds like. Yeah, so just very simple. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my metronome because I don't need it for this um, track but if you want to leave yours on that is perfectly fine just simply untick or tick that that's the metronome but that is the um, audio file completely untouched just freshly imported so now I'm gonna show you how to fade in and fade out so in order to do that we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, mix so click mix on your if you're on your Mac click on mix and we're gonna go ahead and press show Oops, show automation. And now it will, it will change this, and we're gonna have a drop down box here. It, it says volume, so you can see we have all these other you know options here, but for this one, we're gonna leave it as volume, all right? And don't change anything on this. So we're gonna go ahead and actually, on the track itself, double click. And here you go, it pops up this line. Now, this is how we control the volume for the track. So if I were to move mine up or down, you can see how the volume goes negative if I go down and it goes positive when it goes up. That's It means it's getting louder when I put it up and if I put it down, it gets less loud. So let me show you how that would sound like. So if I wanted to fade to fade out, let me go ahead and put it like all the way down here. And you can see that the track will gradually get softer as I continue playing. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. Now if you notice, the track um, drastically went down when I faded out. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it so that it gets louder. So in order to fade in this time, we're going to go ahead and put it back to normal. This time we're going to make the first circle go down. So instead of getting um, softer, it will instead get louder. So let me go ahead and replay that. So restart and play. And so if you want to make it even longer than that, you can go ahead and extend that. You can extend as long as you want, like all of this is under your control. Now, I can also show you that that is pretty much how you do it, like to make to adjust the volume, but I will also show you how to um, play around with it. So let me go ahead and show it to you again. So go back. And as you notice, So if you notice now, the longer we make that curved line, the more it, the longer it takes before it reaches the desired volume. So I'll go ahead and make it like loud, and then I will make it softer again. So in order to do that, we just double click. When we double click, you notice we have an extra circle. Now we can control the volume again. And now if you want it to become louder again, double click anywhere. So I decide to double click here and I will make this go loud. So let me go ahead and test it out and you will see how it sounds like. It's getting softer, it'll get louder. Yeah, and that is simply how you do it. So you've learned how to um, make it go louder, which is the first part. You go softer and then get loud again. So you can obviously, there is no limit to what you can do. You can do this as much as you want to. But that is how you do it in a 2020 garage band. So I know that I had, I think I said it earlier, but I know I said I made a video of this before. But 
I remember people in the comments are saying that a lot of the UI, the how the way GarageBand works, a lot of it has changed. So I personally don't think it's that different. Maybe only a few, but the overall the method we use is still the same. So that's simply how you do it. And if you want to export, let me go ahead and right, so uh, if you want to export your your uh, track, just simply go to Share and click Export Song to Disk. That is for your finished project. So. Like I said earlier, if this video helped you out, leave a like and subscribe. And also, I will make another one again if GarageBand goes ahead and changes a lot. But this is the 2020 version. As of the time of this recording, it is August 23. So hopefully people who are using GarageBand around this time, you all will be able to see it like this. So thank you all for watching. Like I said, I will leave this in the description below, this particular track. It's royalty free and that's why I was able to use it for free in this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.